Just when you thought space was the final frontier, Indian scientists have plunged into another mission, and that is a deep dive into the blue abyss. Meet Project Samudrayaan, India's inaugural manned mission to the ocean floor, a venture designed to unlock the mysteries hidden 6,000 meters below the surface. Engineered by the brilliant scientists at the National Institute of Ocean Technology, the indigenous submersible Matasya 6000 is making final preparation for its maiden voyage. So far, only a handful of nations, the United States, Russia, Japan, France and China, have embarked on such a daring undersea expedition. But come 2026, India will join this elite club. In the aftermath of the tragic implosion of the Titan submersible in June of this year, safety has been the cornerstone of Matasya 6000's design. It is designed as a 2.1 meter diameter sphere made from an ATMM thick titanium alloy. Matasya 6000 is built to withstand pressure 600 times greater than we experience at the sea level. Equipped with an oxygen supply that lasts a staggering 96 hours or 4 days. But what awaits us in the undersea frontier? Why go down the sea? Matasya 6000 will seek out precious metals like cobalt, nickel and manganese, key resources for modern technologies. It is not just about mineral wealth, it is voyaged to discover the extraordinary biodiversity that thrives in the ocean's hydrothermal vents and methane seeps. M. Ravi Chandran of Earth Sciences Secretary assures that a sea trial will commence in the first quarter of 2024. The deep ocean mission is more than exploration. It is a testament to India's blue economy vision, aiming for economic growth while preserving the health of our ocean ecosystem." End quote. You might wonder why do we need to explore the deep ocean at all? It's not just about scientific curiosity or national prestige. The stakes are far higher. Oceans are the lungs of our planet, absorbing carbon dioxide. They are also treasure troves of untapped resources critical to advancement in medicine, technology and sustainable energy. Yet our understanding of the ocean is like reading the first page of an intricate novel. I'll give you an example. Did you know that we know more about the surface of the moon and Mars than we do about the depths of our oceans? For example, when it comes to mapping, as of 2021, 100% of the moon's surface has been mapped to a resolution of 7 meters. Mars is not far behind, with 98% mapped at a resolution of 20 meters. In sharp contrast, only about 20% of Earth's ocean floor has been mapped to a resolution of 5 km or better. The reasons are varied, but boil down to accessibility and interest. Space missions, like those conducted by NASA or European Space Agency, or even ISRO, are highly publicized and capture the public's imagination. In contrast, oceanic expeditions often go unnoticed, despite their critical importance. There are some exceptions to it, like the finding out of the Titanic or the recent accident of the Titan. Yet, the ocean plays a pivotal role in our planet's health and offers untapped resources. Understanding our oceans better could offer solutions to some of the most pressing challenges of our time, such as climate change, biodiversity loss, and sustainable energy. That is why initiatives like Project Samudrayan are so vital. It is not just about India. It is about humanity's urgent need to focus on the inner space to learn, protect and sustainably utilize the treasures that lie deep beneath the waves.